Good afternoon, everyone. We're about to get started with some Saturday NBA action brought to you by 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, former NBA players Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony with David Aldridge joining us courtside. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Golden State Warriors. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. They've got Macy. Oakley is out there with Green. Then there's Gervin. And it's Jordan in at the two spot. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Gets the three-pointer to fall. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Green. Jordan down low. It's up against Thompson. A nice shot by Jordan. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Outside Curry. Thompson from long range. It's hauled in by Oakley. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Jordan with it. He's picked up by KD. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Back to Thompson. Outside, KD. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Thompson. There's the three. They get the rebound. Takes a three. Count it. His second make in four attempts. This is something that Clay works on all the time, even though he is already elite at it. He readies himself to fire once he catches that ball. Now here's Jordan. It's stolen by Curry. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Thompson passes to Durant. And Thompson kicks to Durant. The tray. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Durant. Thompson's got nine points. <laughs> the elevated playmaking of Durant. Passes like that really bring the team closer together. Here's Jordan. Makes it off the glass. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Now, here's Jordan. And Pachulia pulls it down, and it's the Warriors' ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Pass to Curry. Green taking his time here. And Thompson kicks to Green. Back to Thompson. Misses the three. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. He lobs it up, and it's Gervin finishing it off. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Bulls trail by three. Macy with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Seven-second difference. Shot in game clock. Oakley misses. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Curry with it. Scoreless thus far. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Outside Curry. Thompson for the triple. Oh, and he nails it just in time. One eye on the rim, one on the clock. What a play. Boy, that was close. Got it in just in the nick of time. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Back right after this.
And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And also, guys, they're playing for one another right now. All those extra passes are leading to easy buckets. Green is out there with Durant. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then there's Pachulia. And it's Thompson in at the two. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Warriors leading by six. Back to Curry. And stolen by Jordan. And they're on the break. And then slammed in by Jordan. Well, good job there. Jordan getting them in transition. And he does so much. You almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. And here are the Warriors now. Now Curry. He has yet to score on the wing, Thompson. Green, the pass to Thompson. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Bulls trail by four. Jordan wide open. Another three for Chicago. And wasn't really a long-distance shooter in college. Jordan really worked on his range ever since being drafted. Now here's Green. Thompson in the corner. And it's Thompson again missing. And he does it right in his face. This is how you answer a three with a three. Just merciless. Paxson passes to Washington. That one falls coming off of Paxson's feed. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looked. It's a challenging shot. Thompson outside. And it's Thompson again missing. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. Now here's Thompson. He's got 15. Thompson with the three! And this is Thompson's shot, one of the most gifted outside shooters the NBA, the world, has ever seen. Paxson against Curry. Here's Jordan. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Thompson. Let's the three fly. On the wing, Thompson. It's the three point five. Thompson's got 21. When Thompson gets hot, it fuels his whole team. And right now, they are looking good. So, Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Oakley, he's checked in for Washington. Green comes in for Corzine. Gervin's checked in for Jordan. Kyle Macy subbed in for Paxson. Macy against Curry. It's Gervin on the wing. Green breaking loose, and it's blocked. Thompson outside, puts up a deep three. That shot, no good. Bulls trail by five. High post shot, and Curry pulls it down. Gervin's gone one of three shooting so far. I now have send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you all, guys. Kevin Durant is dedicated to his craft, of course, but he relishes his connections off the court as well. He says there's so much you can learn from being an NBA player. Life lessons in basketball, the business around the league. Every stop around the way is an experience for me to accelerate and be better in the next part of my life. Kevin? Boy, that's great perspective, isn't it? David, thank you so much. There's a minute left in the second quarter. On the wing, Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. And so it's Gervin with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Nine-point game. Bulls have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. First one falls for him. Michael Jordan. He's checked in for the Bulls. He hits both from the stripe. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Curry deciding where to go with it. Thompson for three. Another three for Golden State. Man, they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. Yeah, the D is looking helpless to stop them right now. They're doing whatever they want to do on offense. Now here's Green. No scoring in this one. Here's 
Jordan. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. And here is Curry. Thompson for three. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. Now this is how you finish a first half, sending them to the locker room with a statement shot from three-point range. And the first half is now in the books. Warriors ahead as they wrap up the second quarter with a huge surge, an 18-6 run. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Second half underway, and here's who Alexi Morris has got on the floor. Macy is out there with Jordan. Then there's Gervin. And it's Green, and it's Oakley in at the five, down low. Now here's Curry, following the miss by Michael Jordan. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Off target with his three. And sometimes on defense, yeah, you can just get lucky. Curry against Mason. And the pass to Green. And Tremont Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And Jordan has it in the corner. Pass to Green. Shot clock at five. Here's Macy. A way better defender than he gets credit for. Steph Curry. Macy, no luck. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. They get it back. Gervin with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Jordan's got it. Buries the jumper to finish the break. Jordan's got 13. And the beauty of Jordan's pull-up, he can do it running full speed or laterally in either direction. Pass to Thompson. Back to Curry. He kicks it to Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now here's Curry. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games, and they've made that adjustment since the break. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, among the changes this year is the NBA is granting coaches a second challenge if their first one is successful. Now, coaches had been hesitant to use their one challenge earlier in games, even when calls seemed pretty clearly to have been missed. The downside to a second challenge, more stoppages, but the league may look at other measures to help keep the game moving. 
Kevin? Yeah, I like that, D.A. A lot of things to consider. Thanks. The shot by Thompson, no good. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. The Bulls have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. And that one misses. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Here's Green. And finally they hit one. He knows his job on the glass, and he does it well, cleaning it up and sending it right back. Curry kicks to Thompson. A three-pointer, no good. Bulls trail by 14. Banks dishes to Oakley. Yep, that one goes in there. Oakley's got his first points in this one. And he has to build on this because we can see where him being a ghost out there has gotten them so far. And again, no good by Golden State. Macy against Green. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. Some solid defense there from KD. Curry with it. Now Green defending. Thompson from long range. Buries the long range jumper. Thompson's got 45 points. And talk about playing to your strengths. Getting Thompson a look from the corner, that's as bankable as almost any play you can call. Oakley misses. Warriors leading by 15. Outside Curry. Thompson way outside, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Warriors lead by 15. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Clay Thompson. Green is out there with Pachulia. Then it's Curry. And it's Durant in at the small forward. So that's the group out there for Golden State. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there the way he just went right over him with his height. Thompson outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Thompson's got 48. That's a fantastic decision by Curry. Defense too focused in on Steph. It's stolen by Green. Curry wide open. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. And the Warriors lead by 18. And he's shooting it at an efficient clip. But he needs to keep looking to score. It's what his team relies on him to do. Jordan's shot is off. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Good on the three-point shot. Thompson's got 51. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they are in sync. Chicago calls timeout. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Outside, Jordan. And just miss after miss right now. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Thompson outside. Rebound by the Bulls. Oakley's got four rebounds in this game. Jordan, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And the defining trait of the greatest 
of superstars. Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Now here's Thompson. Curry passes to Green. It's stolen by Green. Three on three, and there's the call on Curry. That's foul number two for him. Warriors on D. Jordan finds Green. Kervin surveying the D. And it's Jordan. That time on the assist by Gervin. The yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Thompson outside. Puts up a three. Buries it from three-point range. Thompson's got 54 points. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. I think when you've got it going from three-point range, you've got to keep it going. It's a good way to kind of pile up the points quickly. A nice shot by Jordan. Even though his team is lagging behind, he's playing like a winner. Too bad his attitude isn't spreading to the other guys. Thompson outside. For three. And another three for Golden State. An absolute superb facilitator because Curry is such a lights-out shooter, it opens up passing lanes for him. Macy passes to Oakley. Here's Jordan. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Thompson. Back to Curry. Golden State moving it around. The shot by Thompson, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Macy with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Here's Green. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. Now, here's Green. Jordan with the steal. And even three-on-three -three break. And that one's good. Green. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And there's no defense for that. Live ball turnovers, they are the worst. He had a nice open look right there. Thompson's got 60. And that's what you can expect from one of the greatest shooters of all time. He's just got unlimited range. Jordan passes to Macy. Shoots over Curry. Almost, but it rolls out. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that oh. score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And he commits the intentional foul. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. Timeout called the Warriors. They're ahead by 21. Three seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? And they've got this one just about wrapped up. Also, we've seen some wild finishes in our time. You can't afford to lose focus for just one second. And what a competitor. I mean, he's been looking for a shot all game long. He shouldered almost the entire load for them offensively. And he knocks down the first one. Both good from the line that time. And so Steve Kerr decides to call a timeout. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, and they've got this one just about wrapped up. Also, we've seen some wild finishes in our time. You can't afford to lose focus for just one second. Thompson for the triple. Misses there. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. 
It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Clay Thompson.